After being employed at Stellantis for over a decade, this mechanical engineer recently started believing his job was on shaky ground. I was concerned because I heard rumors uh, a couple weeks ago regarding uh, cuts to salaried employees. Around 8 p.m. Thursday, 400 technology workers at Stellantis, including this engineer who wants to remain anonymous, received an email informing them not to report to work Friday. Instead, they would be on a mandatory remote work day and they were required to attend an operational meeting at a designated time. But when workers attended those meetings, they received devastating news. It was a mass firing uh, of everybody that was on the call. The news felt like a punch in the gut. Of course it was. Yes, absolutely. Fox 2 requested an on-camera interview with Stellantis, but instead we were provided a statement which reads in part, while we understand this is difficult news, these actions will better align resources while preserving the critical skills needed to protect our competitive advantage as we remain laser focused on implementing our EV product offensive and our Dare Forward 2030 strategic plan. But this worker and others Fox 2 spoke to believe something else is the cause. There's a ton of jobs or positions that they began to outsource to different companies, such as um, India, Mexico, Brazil. So they, they continue to push uh, low-cost countries are more, more efficient for the company and more profitable. As hundreds of employees are let go from Stellantis, many are wondering what impact this will have on the auto industry. The auto industry is making a lot of money, but is facing a lot of challenges. You've got the electrification situation, which is going to cost car makers a lot of money. You've got the new UAW contract that's also costing car makers a lot of money. So it's not only Stellantis, everybody is looking at the bottom line. In fact, WWJ automotive reporter Jeff Gilbert says other car makers have already made cuts recently. We've seen it at Ford and General Motors also. Uh, but today it's happening at Stellantis. Gilbert makes it clear the actions by Stellantis are not reflective of the economy. There is no talk about a downturn in the economy. This is about all of the other costs related to things like electrification, things like new technology. Stellantis told Fox 2 these reductions will be effective March 31st, and it will offer support for those impacted, including a comprehensive separation package and transition assistance. It's sort of sad because just years ago during the, the bankruptcy time, our government stuck up for us and bailed us out so that we could continue to be a company and years later we merge with another company that just seems to be sort of dissolving us. In Oak Park, Ingrid Kelly, Fox 2 News.